We're back at Canria uh, at the Electricity Transformation Canada 23 event. And if everybody's been paying attention, this event is run by RE+. So we have Tracy Huggins from RE+. She's the International Events Marketing Manager. Uh, and she helps organize this, this massive event. Uh, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. This is super exciting. So we have not been to this event before. We yep, have not been one. to an RE Plus event before. Uh, uh, but this is really good. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, for what we were expecting, you know, yep. we, we go to a lot of shows. Yeah. We see a lot of shows. Yeah, and absolutely. some of them are really shaky, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> yeah. kind of sketchy. Uh, this is fantastic. Thank you. It's, it's very well organized. I, I really think you've done a good job here. Oh, it's not just me. It's a I'm it's sure a you have a of crew people. of people, yeah. yeah. And, and I'll tell you what, it doesn't it doesn't hurt it being in in Canada because Canadians are nice people. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, oh, yeah. Everybody's, everybody's, everybody's kind of helpful nice. and yeah. smiley. The Uber <laughs> drivers, the everybody you run into, anybody at the show that you need help. Hey, where should we go? Here? Oh, right over here. <laughs> you want me to walk here? And the restaurants have been fantastic. Yeah. If you haven't been to we went to a restaurant last night just blew my socks off. Salt Lake. Salt Lake. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was Oh, I, someone told me about that. I, I, well, I wanted to try it. Had some Alberta beef. Mm. Oh, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, so it's definitely a good choice <laughs> to hold a major event. And I, I uh, don't know a lot about RA+. I don't know what we see in the States is Las Vegas. The big solar event. <laughs> the big it's, it's, solar it looks like and, and energy storage uh, conference, and everybody talks about that. Uh, and But this event's a little bit different. This involves wind, solar, battery, anything that's really renewable, transmission line, cables, right. the, the whole gamut. How did that all come together? Yeah, so thank you for uh, giving us such a good compliment, first of all. Um, but I did want to reinsure that ETC is actually um, developed by Canria, and then RE Plus events and the Italian German Expo, expo uh, say that a thousand times, <laughs> <laughs> exhibition group. Um, all, the three of us, we, we all organize this event together. So okay. the Canria Association um, helps with the education content for the conference. Okay. And then we kind of help with the RE Plus does the operations and logistics side. Right. And then the Italian um, exhibition group, they, they help us with the, the logistics as well. When do you kick this thing off and say, okay, this is a go. Yeah. Let's get going. Um, we started in early April. Wow, well, that's pretty good. That you guys that's a short together. time frame. Six yeah. months. Yeah. Well, under. we talk, you know, every month we have a meeting, but things start going in April. Okay. Because we that's when we start getting the education content going and figuring out yep. what speakers to, to have. And we take uh, we send out a lot of surveys and forms to see what people who, who would be interested in hearing right. the shows. And that, that kind of helps us develop the educational part. Yeah, listening to the constituents. Yeah. You want to make sure that when they come to the event, there's some, I know we're talking or we're trying to make over, I don't know if we will or not, but uh, DNV is speaking on blades and excited to hear that one. And when I read through an agenda, a lot of times I'm like, uh, skip, 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 right. skip, skip. But reading through this agenda and specifically because yeah. we don't normally do that much business in Canada, we're not no. up here that often. I was like, ooh, that looks like a good one. That looks like a good one. And we learned so much here. Just speaking with people about you know the differences between U.S. Uh, across state lines and transmission and how the provinces work differently than the states do. It's, oh, that's great! Yeah. I, I'm glad to hear that because that is really important. So you didn't go to the ETC 2022 show? No, nope, we did not. Okay, okay. No. So what's great is actually the education content has doubled from really? last year. So, oh. um, but it's it's nice that that you guys. That's the people. heart for yeah. us. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Okay. Because We're goods, right? <laughs> well. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in terms of going to win conferences, because it's it's so complicated, there's so much stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to keep track of, and and everybody's out doing their job. Right. And, and then then when you come to these kind of events, the experts walking down the highway and they're giving a presentation. Yeah. It's your opportunity to sort of catch up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because otherwise. This industry, Stuff. the wind industry, in particular, lost. Yeah, having those contacts, you know, and and setup wise for the basically how the how the conference is set up here, where you have the speakers that are, they're basically on the floor, right? They're giving a presentation right behind there, and they're giving a presentation right behind here. And some conferences you go to, they're like, oh, this is a presentation, but you've got to go to room X Y Z floor oh. six. And you're like, 
really? I got to walk and go and go and find this and all that. It's nice that I'm, you can, like, I'm, we were sitting here yesterday and I heard someone talking and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And I just stuck my head around there, listened for a little while, yeah. a little bop out. So that's, that's kudos to that setup. Oh, great. Thank you. Because we actually, um, we're going to add two more stages next year. Oh. We were trying to do a solar installer stage this year, but we didn't quite grab uh, the, the content we needed and okay. to have the speakers come. But so, yeah, we'll, we're going to have two more shows like that uh, or two more stages like that on, on the floor. And I think it just it really gives people um, the opportunity to be like, OK, I'm, I decide to do this and I don't really have to leave. Yeah, you know, it's more interactive. Yeah. Well, you're getting more out of it because sometimes you, you also, if you're in the middle of one of those speeches and the speaker's really dry sometimes in some of these, and you want to get up and leave, like you feel bad. Like, oh, I, you, know? <laughs> you know, I hear people can kind of just bop around and uh, I just think it's a more fluid experience and you can, as a, as a visitor to the conference, you can get more out of it. Awesome. I love these compliments. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I think in, in next year, uh, one of the comments we were talking about last night when we were having dinner, uh, was the few American companies that made it up here. And yeah. we only knew about it because we were sort of invited up at AC83. And now that we're here, it's a little shocking that there's not there more isn't that many. American companies here. Yeah. yeah. And so we like last night the conversation was, you know, if you're in a company in Minneapolis and you fly to Houston, it's the same distance of a flight to come oh, to Calgary. And, what, and, and going, it's not really international travel. Right. You just walk through. It's pretty simple. And it, welcome to Canada, eh? You know, <laughs> it's pretty simple to come across. But it's a, it's a, it's an entire market that we see some of these companies go to shows in Europe. Well, why are you going all the way over there when you have a market next door and right. nobody's even touching it? Uh, I think we've only count, we only counted really four companies that were specifically U.S. based, US -based companies yeah. here. And so I, I feel like. Uh, the show is here. Right now, there's not that much going on um, as, a show, as far as a show schedule in the States. People, they should be here. They should yeah. be here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we actually, uh, we we're actually very happy to help take over it, or not take over, but help assist uh, with the operations of last year. They asked us to help like a month before ETC 2022. So we jumped in really quickly. So this time we had an entire year to kind of develop what we wanted. Mm -hmm. And then we also used... Um, uh, RE Plus in Las Vegas to advertise ETC, which uh, which was great because I think that that made American companies understand that you can do international yeah, yeah. stuff. So what is the attendance here? Um, well, I don't have the exact number yet, but it's well over 2,000, which has... Um, I told you. you. Right. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh, you were wrong. Yeah, I was you. lower than that. I was like, I'm thinking there's about this. And he's like, nah, 2,000. Easy. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. It was, last year was 1,600, so we've definitely gone over, which wow, is that's huge. I mean, yeah. that's a 25% increase. Yeah, I mean, this is Canada's, like, you know, SPI, R yeah. Plus, so, like, yeah. we got to make it, we got to keep it going. Yeah, so uh, t just kind of switching gears a little bit, RE Plus in Las Vegas in the States is, a, is an event that I even, uh, on my LinkedIn channel, I was like, who from the wind industry is going to RE Plus? And the, the prevailing comment was, if your company will pay for it, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but that's from the wind side, right? Yeah. Uh, because it, in the US, you have, of course, the ACP organization, they do their own shows. There's not a whole lot of wind thing. But you just told us a little bit off, there was 40,000 people at that event. So if you're in renewables whatsoever, I know that my colleagues in the in the insurance industry all all went there because they if you're in renewable insurance, you deal solar and wind and battery storage usually. These kind of things. But that one is more focused on solar storage and, and you, you microgrids. Uh, we're actually broke into the hydrogen sector this year, which was really cool. Yeah, um, yeah all kinds of stuff. But yeah, wind. Ha yeah, wind hasn't um, reached that part yet but i mean it doesn't mean that we're not open to yeah and i mean and i mean there is a lot of uh, asset owners and stuff i know that were there that they deal with like baywa baywa is solar of course yeah baywa has a bunch of wind assets as well so there, yeah. there was people there for it but I, I could see that in the future i could see that event starting to include some wind and growing in that space because uh, vegas is a great place for conferences mm -hmm. put all those people in there and, and it's a place that we don't go in winds which is crazy. Yeah. Right? yeah. Why are we not in Vegas? Why, why don't all the solar people get to go to Vegas? And <laughs> we're in, in New Orleans or Minneapolis, where we're going. <laughs> yeah. Minneapolis it's when it might be winter still. Well, yeah, right? Yeah. Everybody, everybody likes Vegas. Yeah. 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 So I, I do think there's opportunities. And, and this kind of event where it's all together is a little eye opening for us. We don't see a lot of battery storage, solar things all the time. And yeah. just to see the technology up improvements and the approaches they're taking in Canada, which are different than what they would do in course, the States, yeah. for sure. Uh, that's 
good for us because it, without some creativity in this business, it gets very stagnant. Yeah. Right. Yes. It, 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 this is part of the key to these events is just raising awareness, thinking. So we talked a little bit just there about the our E Plus event in Vegas. Of course, we are here in Calgary at Electric Electricity Transformation Canada, Cambria. I'm reading the signs. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what are the other events and shows that yourself or your team is involved in at a global scale? Yeah. So uh, internationally, we we actually just developed an international team um, in the past year. So we have yeah, we have um, our, a team in, that works on the Mexico show. Um, and we have a South Africa one, um, Solar Power Africa. Wow. And uh, España, we just had that for the first time, which is at Barcelona. So next nice. year we're kind of focusing on maybe Valencia, hopefully. Hopefully. Granada. <laughs> maybe. I, yeah, we're still looking at locations, so yeah. we'll see. And then um, we're looking forward to growing um, into Italy next year as well, okay. hopefully. So in all of those events, are they mostly the, um, the, the solar storage? and? Yeah, yep. ETC is very special and unique, and I'm, I was very excited to, to work on uh, ETC 2023 because I actually, this is my third one, but my first one working for RE Plus because I used to be an exhibitor. Uh, um, uh, so uh, I know this show, I've seen it twice in Toronto, and I was really excited that it was going to Calgary and to have like, see just a new change and not be so you know stale, just yeah, give yeah. it some more life. It was interesting coming to Calgary too because I, like I, I'm an oil and gas guy. For, that made it into renewables. Oh. Um, so my, I've, been, I've spent my time in Fort Mac. Right? I, I know Alberta, and so coming here, I was thinking like, man, what a kind of an, uh, a juxtaposition for a renewable show to be in Calgary, where you have kind of in Canada the, the political cut between over here and the different places in the country, but the uh, the show out has been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. and. I, I think it's important to move the show around yeah. because Canada is so vast and it all the territories do have their own type of weather challenges and sure. um, I, I, I'm excited so I hope that we continue to move around. Oh. So you're booking for next year. Do we know where next year is going to be? It is in Calgary. So it's here again next okay. year on October 21st to the 23rd. Um, so we'll be in the same area uh, just like this. And but it's going to expand actually already. So we'll be expanding over that way um, and adding more more stages. So bigger next year. Yep. We went from 1,600 to 2,000. The goal what's, next year yeah, is what, 2,500? Yeah, what's 2, the goal next year? 2,600? I, 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 we're hoping. I like it. <laughs> you know, coming to shows as well, and this is one thing I want to touch on, it's not just the technical content in the show itself. People come here for an experience, right? People go to shows because you get to catch up with colleagues. You get to go have dinner, have a beer, whatnot. Uh, within a kilometer or two of this place and a short walk. There is a ton of restaurants, great hotels, uh, some nice bars and things to do. So the, that ties in very well to a good conference. Yeah. So Calgary, the, where it is located here is. Yeah, the weather was just the <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. only yeah. thing that we weren't expecting, yeah. but we it's, still made it. <laughs> yep. yeah, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. Uh, but so next year, what do people, are you taking registrations? What do people need to do if they want to register for next year? Like we're, we're gonna register for next year, yeah. I, I assume. Yeah. So how do we do that? What, what's that look like? Yeah, so we're already, um, we have our sales booth here. Uh, we have that at every show. So okay. that way the ones, the exhibitors who are already exhibiting, they can just, um, if they can decide if they want the same booth or move around and book that now. As for attendees, the registration usually doesn't open up till about three or four months beforehand. Okay. Um, just because we want to make sure we have a solid foundation of education content and all the yeah. exhibitors and stuff. And okay. be able to put that forth. Right. Yeah, that's great. So the prices of the booth, good. We we paid a lot more for much less in terms of booths. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and you and paid a lot more to walk into a show for much less to show a good show. Yeah. yeah. Now, not that I want you to raise prices. Yeah. So don't, <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but if if I'm an American company, it's kind of towards the end of the year, right? So it, the, the finances add up and people get a little a bit leery, like, oh, next year, the, the budget opens again and we can go ABC. But this is a place to be in Canada. If you want to make some business in Canada, you're going to have to come up here and meet the people. Yep. And it's been, I, I think, really good. Everybody that's approached us has been very open to discuss and talk and see what's going on and learn and exchange ideas. I'm, I'm going to give it's it. It's so hard to do that. A little bit of background information that might entice some Ameri American companies to come up here as well. Canada has way higher PPA prices. Oh yeah. So there's higher operating budgets within the wind set. 
Oh, yeah. So they're more apt to be able to do to spend money to get things done than you are in the states where you're fighting budgets. So if you're looking for a new market to come to, right, come up to Canada. Yeah, I mean, well, if you think about it, North America, we're all we're all within North America. So yeah. I mean, I don't see the why they shouldn't even include Canada in their business plan. They might just take over Canada. So. Yeah. <laughs> Could happen. <laughs> And then the other thing I did want to mention is we are adopting new, um, you know, new, new operations to like. So we have the Indigenous uh, Business Pavilion. Yeah, I, saw, yeah. I saw that. That's new this year too. Yeah. So we're excited to expand that more next year. That way, it just really opens up multiple communities um, throughout Canada to show that we're all in this together. We yeah. all need to have energy. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. Everybody needs lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I speak to one other thing that's happened this week that? Uh, we were talking about yesterday was in some of these conferences the food is horrible and I've been to some real zingers uh, over the last 12 months mostly in aerospace I'll leave the, the wind out of it for a minute mostly in aerospace horrible it does make a difference yeah. at these conferences like there's like a little bit of yogurt coffee, coffee space here this morning you and get some poutine there was poutine here, yeah. And nice. the the lunch yesterday was quite nice. It was it was a French cuisine actually for lunch yesterday. Which yes, was everything amazing. was in French. I didn't know what it was. But <laughs> it tasted fantastic. <laughs> I think I had a ravioli of some kind. Uh, but yeah, that is such a huge thing. It does. It, it seems like an afterthought. You, you don't realize how nice a conference is until you try to have lunch that first day. Yeah. Oh, they've thought about this. Yeah. They've organized this, and it it does make a difference in everybody's attitude. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Our operations team, um, you know, those ladies just, they kill it. They were fantastic. That all, all the wait staff and everybody back there. Was, oh, great. We do go to a lot of shows. Yeah. And yeah, this is right up at the top. I got to tell you. So Thank congratulations. You. I, I, Thank I'm you. I'm really glad you'd come on the podcast and tell us about it. And, and we're going to pump ETC 24, right? We're going yes. back here in Calgary. Go to the ETC website, sign up. Get your get your booth space because that's going to be limited. I know we had trouble getting in. We had to kind of partner a little bit oh, to get in. Really? So the next year we're, we'll just probably get a bigger space, of course. But get in, Tracy. Thanks so much for being on the podcast. It's really great to meet you. Yeah, and, nice to and meet you. And all. Congratulations! Thank Very you. Very successful yeah. show. We'll Thank see you next year.